Hello and welcome back to my channel here at the Wisdom of Odin. My name is Jacob Todson, and for the last few months I have been traveling across Northern Europe, with my adventure hat, looking at ancient sites, uh, went to, going to pagan festivals and doing everything I can to gather as much information and research on spiritualities of the ancient world. A lot of the times I've been going to these places and I have a goal. And so I don't have uh, enough time sometimes to record videos on everything that I see. And so I have a lot of footage of things, but I don't necessarily have the narratives for them. And so today we're going to be talking about London, a place you wouldn't expect there to be a really ancient pagan site, but there is. It's quite small, but it is in the city. Today, we're going to be talking about Boudicca's tomb in Hampstead Heath. So going to this place actually was kind of by accident, uh, how I found it. So when I was in London, I was there for about a month in March. Uh, and it was in a really weird spot for me because I just left Scotland, absolutely madly in love with Scotland. And then I get to this megatropolis of Mordor-esque-ness. So London is not my favorite place in the world. I mean, I had some fun there. I met a lot of really great people, but the city is just far too large. And I was really in the heart of it. And it would like, if I traveled an hour and a half in any direction, I could not leave the city. And so I was really feeling disconnected from nature. And so I was really looking for a place to go. A lot of the parks uh, were very manicured uh, and just didn't feel really wild. And so I found my way to Hampstead Heath. Now, Heath is a word that's not commonly used in America and really not used uh, in common English, I think, anymore. But Heath is actually one of the root words of heathen. And so Heath is just a wild open space. And so someone who is a heathen inhabits wild open spaces. And so the fact that Hampstead Heath has this kind of in the name was interesting to me, but it was kind of a wild open space. It had really big old trees, lots of oaks, and kind of sat on a hill around the city. And so you did have London still kind of around you, like the neighborhood. So you're in London still. And I remember I was sitting right there on a, a grassy hill overlooking London, and it literally looks like Mordor in the distance, with this dark cloud looming over it. It was really strange. But I started wandering around there, just really enjoying myself, feeling connected to nature again. And then in the distance, I see a mound. Well, that's quite odd. There's a bunch of trees grown on top of it. And I get close and there's a gate around it. And then sure enough, there is a burial mound just in the middle of this park. Uh, there's no sign about it. There's like nothing there to indicate it's a burial mound, but I clearly can tell it is. Now, this is an interesting uh, moment to note the statistic, but as of today, at least in the numbers that I could find, there are 20,000 existing burial mounds across the UK. It's absolutely insane. And as far as I know, this is the only one still in existence in London. And uh, from what research I could tell, it was researched at one point in the 1800s. But at this time, uh, the people that were researching these burial mounds we're really only looking for king's graves. I mean, this was even before Sutton Who finds. And so there wasn't really a lot of stuff found that was like glorious. This is still when people thought that the uh, Anglo-Saxons at the Viking Age and all this stuff was a time of depravity, that there was no art. And so there was a lot of seeking for this art of the old days. And so they dug into this, uh, into this burial mound and they couldn't find anything at all. And I think they found some ashes. So someone was buried there, they know that. And then at some point in history, this mound was named Boudicca's tomb. Now, Boudicca, which I've talked about on this channel as well, is a uh, Iceni, a Celtic, Britonic uh, warrior queen that rose up against the Romans and was quite famous. There's even a statue in London to her. But there's a lot of assumptions about Boudicca and whether or not she's real, to what extent she was real, and all this stuff. And just like a lot of heroes, a lot of things get named after uh, these individuals. That's why you can find legends about King Arthur across the UK in almost every city you go to. And so Boudicca is really no different. And so the fact that this place is called Boudicca's tomb more than likely does not mean that Boudicca was buried there. Could be! Could be. That would be really interesting. But more than likely, Boudicca was not buried here. One of the things that was also done during this era is when these burial mounds were found, they wanted to beautify them. And so at this time, a lot of people uh, came together and planted trees to create a lovely little meadow. And this is something that actually really attracted me to the site, is that it was this really lovely meadow with flowers and beautiful trees. And it really just stood out in this, this heath uh, overlooking London. And it is gated off, so you can't go up into it. Um, but I really wanted to. I really wanted to. I definitely, I was picking up rubbish around it. 
Uh, I even found a little uh, stone, uh, like a, a hag stone, I think it was. It was really cool. It looked like a potato with a hole through it. I really just started di diving into this. And the, the research here is very, very limited because like I said, no one has researched this thing at all since like the 1800s, like late 1800s. After that, it's not been touched. Like they put the skate around it, they put trees there, they kind of maintain it, and then poof, that's it. And this is what happens to a lot of burial mounds, especially ones that uh, don't contain any treasures, is they're kind of dug into a little bit, they're like, eh, nothing worth it, and then they just cover them over. So at least it still exists. But the, the location here at Hampstead Heath really banks the question if there's more burial mounds here, uh, because one isolated small burial mound doesn't really make any sense. Typically burial mounds are not isolated. There's usually some more around it. And so while looking around the area, you can kind of see little bumps in the, in the ground, but this area is kind of hilly, so it's hard to tell. But more than likely, there are other burial mounds that have either faded away to time, been uh, you know, dug into, covered over, it's hard to say. But this being the only burial mound here is very, very unlikely. Another interesting legend here actually comes from the Anglo-Saxons when they came in, because this burial mound existed before the Anglo-Saxons, more than likely. Now the Anglo-Saxons did make burial mounds, and I don't think this one has actually been dated if I remember correctly. More than likely this wasn't Anglo-Saxon because uh, we would have, there would have been more, there would have been more grave goods and things like that. This is much likely an older burial mound. One of the things that was more of a legend, I think, this is something I can't confirm, is that the Anglo-Saxons supposedly used Hampstead Heath as a place to leave hanged offerings to Odin, to Wotan. You actually look around, there are a lot of oak trees. Mind you, not the same oak trees the Anglo-Saxons would have seen because, the, I mean, just time, you know, trees don't typically live that long um, or have been cut down. And so the oak trees here are very old. There are some here definitely, you know, 300, 400 years old, but it's still not touching the time of the Anglo-Saxons, at least not the time they were giving offerings to Odin, not Odin. And so you start looking around and it does have this kind of eerie presence. And the reason that people think that the Anglo-Saxons use this for uh, some kind of ceremonial purposes is just because of the location. And then, because uh, this is where a prime area of the Anglo-Saxons were coming in, it was one of the early places that they settled. And so you have a lot of uh, Anglo-Saxon activity. And then there are some Anglo-Saxon walls here as well. So there's, uh, you can barely see them still, but there's these like little divots that basically were like divides in Anglo-Saxon land, uh, but are also kind of fortification as well. And so this area was used by the Anglo-Saxons. It doesn't appear that they cut down all the trees. So they could have been using this as a place of uh, Odin worship. I can't prove that to you. It's an interesting part of the story though. And that's ultimately all we're left with a lot of the times is stories. And so that's what I'm doing here in this video. That's all I really want to do is to share the story of Hampstead Heath. And so that you know that if you're in London or if you're stuck in London currently, there is a place you can go to to experience some of the ancient, ancient past. Uh, in particular here at Boudicca's tomb, uh, the only burial mound in London, as far as I'm aware, that's still in existence today and it is known. So definitely pay it a visit because I think uh, these sites uh, are just going to be more and more forgotten throughout time, especially since, you know, clearly the uh, scholars, the, you know, uh, archaeologists have no interest in this site. You know, it was researched 150, you know, it was 200 years ago and it hasn't been looked at since. Uh, so. Be sure to check out the only burial mound in London, Boudicca's tomb. Leave an offering there, see what happens, and see if you can feel any creepy vibes, and then report back and let me know. So, yeah, ultimately I wanted to make this video because most people probably didn't know this existed, uh, even people that walk around it every single day. And so I wanted to share with a few thousand people that will watch this video over the next few years that there is a burial mound in London. You can check it out, and this is kind of the story around it. So thank you very much for joining me for this video. Looking back on some of the places I've visited around my travels, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and then go through my backlog of content to see all the videos I've created over the last nine or so months. Uh, there's some truly incredible ones in there, including the ones I made in London, uh, even though I didn't quite enjoy my time. But Boudicca's tomb and Hampstead Heath was definitely one of the, the highlights of that trip.